to another Commerce Feed episode. Today we are going to be driving the FRS for the first time with a little bit of boost because we have E85 and it's running smoother. It's a good video. I hope you guys sit back and enjoy. CommerceSpeed.com. Don't miss the chance to get entered to win this FRS. This thing is going to be a banger. We got the styling. I got the vision for it already. Getting parts on the way. This thing is going to be transformed but still maintain a certain look that's already a little bit hinted there. So enjoy this video. Thanks for stopping by the Commerce Speed channel and hope you want to support the team on the website. Thanks. We're on our first maiden voyage for me in the FRS. I've never really spent any time in these cars. So any little bit of seat time I'm excited excited about. We need to get this clutch broken in. The car doesn't really run right right now. So we need to get this car tumor in. <laughs> so we can get this thing running right. But in the process, we need to break the clutch in. So he told us to do 3,500 RPM and basically just let the clutch slip out and wear some pad and do that three times, let it cool down and do it three more times. So let's do that and see what he's talking about. This clutch, he said would be scary, but I don't think it's that bad so far. I think it's gonna fit the car naturally. This belt is clean. <laughs> we only have one headlight and it's a bright, no headlights. We have high beams, one of them, and a dirty windshield on the inside. This thing is raw. You feel all the vibration? Oh yeah. Mm, the brakes are crunchy. They haven't, been, they haven't been used in a while. Third gear, 3500 RPM. Dog check the oil lines, everything underneath for the turbo. Make sure everything's good tomorrow. I want to make sure this thing is safe before we have Marin go ahead and retune this thing, at least for the street, to make it drive safe on 91, and it should be good. That's what we're fixing today. Oh yeah, she's a squeaker. <laughs> I don't know how to drive stick. She is a little squeaky. Sounds nice. Well, that prime squeaky here there, folks, is a combination of a bad belt and a pulley. We could have some other pulleys in here that are bad as well. Being that the car sat for, what was it, three to four years without running, especially out here in Arizona, hot summers, this stuff dry rots especially rubber, bearings dry out, whatnot. So we're gonna go in here, replace this idler pulley, and then we're gonna replace this belt and see if that gets rid of our squeak. If not, we're gonna figure out exactly which component is squeaking. I have a really good feeling this belt is the main cause along with this idler pulley, so. 
Cam introduced me to your sticker collection. I hoard them. You might ask why. I don't have a reason. Personally, I don't like putting stickers on my stuff. I like it clean and simple, but like my truck, not a single sticker. <laughs> toolbox, not a single sticker. Toolbox drawer, lots of stickers. New toolbox setup, coming soon. Oh, yeah? Maybe. It's not a snap-on, I'll just tell you that. I'm not there yet. I don't think I'll ever be there. That's too much money. <laughs> so, I'm guesstimating, I think on the T-bolt clamps, usually they're 11 millimeter. And our belt tensioner, I believe, is either a 12 or a 13. So I grabbed both. Make sure I'm not walking back and forth 50 times. We need to go see if we can't get more E85, get the ethanol content up on this. It's not a 12, it's not a 13 either. So that means it's a 14. Oh yeah, our belt is dry rotted. I don't know if you guys can oh, see that, that cracking. Do not use my method of doing this. Like I said, I think that we are good. We did not sacrifice any ribs on this belt. Should be good. Nice. May or may not have a boost leak right here. This hose is covered in oil and this clamp is not seating down properly. Should be good. Let's fire this puppy back up. Oh, baby! That's a job well done. Dialed. Got a freaking leaker on this one. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> Just a little. Gotta let it work its way through. This isn't the current ethanol percent, it's before. Just so you know. That thing came with an ethanol content sensor? Yeah. Oh, it's going up now. It was at 19. Now it's finally working its way through. Tequila factory. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go drive it around lightly around the head. But oh my god, I'm so excited.
My turn, eh? Glad to hear that it's running well. Make sure you make the tires round again. <laughs> I'm a little. <laughs> Is it just vibrations like it's a race car or what? Yeah, it's very, very noisy. Mustang driver. <laughs> oh, we'll be all right. Man, she needs some new struts. She's a little bouncy. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> Honda boys. <laughs> Where are we at, Honda boys? with a rear end that light. I know. Like dry tires, old tires, all things aside, it shouldn't slip out that that light. It just goes, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> it's got that much power, but like, if you don't have the traction, it's like, what's the point? Besides the burnout car. And it's slide around car. Well, <laughs> just got our fresh stack of mode tool. I already got some of it in, but this is the stuff I was missing. Got plenty of two stroke oil for my dirt bike, so I don't have to restock for all the way until after next season. But we got some 5W30 for the RS3, and we've got a ton of 5W40 for the FRS, STIs, all the Subarus we like to run that. They actually have a new can design. We should pop this open, Randall, and check out this new design that they're running. Looks pretty cool, it shows it on the outside. But Nolan over at Motul was sure to let me know that they had a new design and wanted me to check it out. They were excited about it. Oh, it's got a new grip on top too. Oh, it's bigger. I've never had the big one. Ooh, a little carbon fiber action. Really cool. Carbon fiber aluminum. So, do you have to spend the extra money on the 300V for your streetcar? Absolutely not. Yes. 
this is total overkill, but if you want to put the best of the best in there that can withstand crazier temperatures, track time, things like that, go for it. I throw it in my STI, simply I work with them, and when I do drive it, I drive the piss out of it, and that's about it because I don't drive it that often anymore. So having this in there is just kind of an extra layer of peace of mind. Other than that, Love Mode Tool, the guys there, they take care of us here on the Karma Speed channel and my personal channel. That's why we have their logo up on the wall. They're like one of the biggest supporters ever. So we want to keep that rolling. If you guys want to order Motul Oil, we'll have links in the description to Amazon. We're working right now to get the products on karmaspeed.com, hopefully depending on if we can get an account with Turn 14 Distribution, which if you didn't know, Turn 14 Distribution. I'm going down the rabbit hole, but they are actually the first people to really step up and do something against the EPA in regards to all this stuff about Cobb that broke out. You know, I was worried about tuning and downpipes and emissions and all this stuff. Turn 14 is trying to do something about it as far as, as long as it's race car related. Um, Turn 14 is cool. They're like basically the Amazon fulfillment of the car industry and we want to get an account with them set up so you guys can order oil through us and they're just a good group of people that obviously care about us. So they have a GoFundMe somewhere. Um, I'll try and link it in the description so they can raise enough money to go lobby it and take it to the government and do something about it. So I'll have some more information linked in the description of this video. It's pretty hype two-step opportunity if you like the sound of this car as is. Click this video right here in the previous video if you missed the episode. We started it for the first time. We did two-step we changed the rpm from 4,000 to 5,000 sounds pretty crazy with the ecutech setup on this car click this video right here go check it out thanks for stopping by the karma speed channel and hope to see you on karmaspeed.com